Hi everyone. So this is a follow up to the process of me jumping over to Crossfire from the Everskai R9, and I'm hitting a little bit of an issue here. So as you can see here, I have my Everskai Trainis QX7 radio here, and this is the ACCST variant, not the newer ACCES Access, or however you want to name it, variant. I have plugged in the Crossfire module into the GR module bay as and you can see here uh, connection seems fine I have the pulsing LED which indicates that it at least have power so uh, we all know that uh, FRSky in their infinite wisdom made the QX7 in such a way that it is semi -com incompatible with Crossfire modules uh, if a user tries to use the Crossfire with the QX7 in its default configuration, uh, you will get something like a telemetry error warnings and whatnot. Something along those lines. Uh, and this behavior is well understood and the workaround has been always to lower the baud rate of the QX7. So you can still bind and fly your quad with the QX7 plus crossfire module combo. No issues there, just with some added latency. Right. So, um, the problem comes when you want to configure the Crossfire system using Lua scripts instead of pushing buttons at the Crossfire module. Oh, just so you know, uh, this is actually a button that you can press. Uh, but the problem is the things that you can configure via button press are kind of limited anyway. So, mm, this is what I'm looking at. So, I'm trying to configure my Crossfire via Lua scripts and I'm seeing this problem. So um, in OpenTX to configure Crossfire, there's this handy little thing called the tools page which you can access by pressing this middle button, long press, and you get to this page. Alright, then you press enter. And as you can see, uh, this happens and it will just never detect. All right. No matter what I tried. Alright, so my OpenTX version. Let's get there. Is 2.3.9. This is latest as of the time of recording. And I do have uh, Lua script and the crossfire options enabled in my firmware. And the baud rate is 115200. Uh, instead of the default 40, uh, 400k and yes I have tried to do it off and on again and that doesn't work right so seems like the option for me is to, to do the inverter mod uh, it seems like to get Lua script working you have to do the inverter mod even with the lower baud rate so let's see how it goes Hi guys, so it's the next day and I've done the inverter mod as you can see there uh, but the issue is I'm still getting the waiting for crossfire device in the Lua script and not only that um, I think I've somehow screwed up the telemetry the export pin because uh, I tried using back my old R9M uh, transmitter module and the telemetry is not working. It still binds fine uh, and, and I'm able to control my quad but just no telemetry so that indicates that the S port pin on the GR module I mean the GR bay it's faulty. So let me show you um, what I saw so far. Okay here we have the inverter mod and I have my oscilloscope probe here with reference to ground okay and um, let's probe the input okay and go to scope and as you can see there's a 1.5 volt peak to peak with a frequency of around 80 kilohertz which corresponds to uh, the 40 I mean 400k baud rate right so and this is what I have what happens to the output 
of the inverter. Yep, it's a flat 3.3 volt, I would say. Um, it's kind of as if the inverter is not being triggered at all. So the way the inverter mod, uh, the inverter works is you get a signal and you invert it to the corresponding, uh, I mean, if it's a 1, it goes to 0 at the output stage. So it seems to be not doing that. Right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, gotta continue investigating. <laughs>